Monday, 14 September 2015 was remembered by 16-year-old Nolan Buchanan as the best day of his life the day before he had spent Sunday with his girlfriend. A traditional morning mass with his girlfriend's family followed by a get-together with friends and a wonderfully romantic evening waking up on Monday morning next to his favorite girl. The teenager felt like a free, successful, and influential businessman before whom the whole world is open. After all, he was now the owner of Buchanan Construction. The young man was going to inherit cars, a house, land, monetary assets, and made plans how he would manage the family business alone and certainly do it better than his father who brought the company to bankruptcy. It would seem that what could go wrong? Already on October 1, 2015, Nolan Keith Buchanan was arrested at Benita High School in Benita, California by the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office. Nolan was incarcerated at the Juvenile Treatment Center JTC in South Lake Tahoe until June 13, 2018, when an El Dorado County jury of seven men and five women found Buchanan guilty of three charges. The jury took just two hours to reach a verdict. The young man was sentenced to 150 years in prison with the possibility of parole from the 25th year of his sentence. But what really happened in the Buchanan family? Let's break it down. Molly first met Adam Buchanan when she came to apply for a job at his firm as an office manager. By the time they met, Adam was already divorced and raising his son Nolan from a previous marriage on his own. Molly was immediately attracted by the attention of the owner of the company. The interest was mutual. Molly fell in love, started a romance that turned into a serious relationship, and her move to Adam. Molly dreamed of a real, loving, friendly family and tried to build a wonderful relationship with her stepson. Soon she became pregnant. Gavin was born. The family who owned a construction company earned enough to ensure a comfortable life, and the family even purchased vacation property in El Dorado County, California, a small cabin. Sat on 19 acres in Greenwood, a rustic cabin with no electricity, water, sewer, or gas. On September 13, 2015, at 10 a.m., Members of the Garden Valley Fire Department responded to a wildfire in Greenwood Township in western El Dorado County on Highway 193 between Coe and Georgetown. After responding to a fire in Greenwood, California on September 13, 2015, officials felt lucky they were able to contain the damage in a forested area popular for vacation homes. But officials observed that a small structure had burned to the ground. At that point, West Norman, captain with the Garden Valley Fire Protection District, said he got the scent of a sweet smell that he couldn't identify. Then, disturbingly, it was burnt flesh. He saw a skull and part of a chest cavity. The area was cordoned off as a crime scene and sheriffs were notified. A second set of bones was found. A Dodge truck near the crime scene, along with a two-axle trailer, was registered to Buchanan Construction and Adam Buchanan, 38, who had a home in Benicia, California. An officer went to the Buchanan home where Nolan Buchanan, Adam's 16-year-old son from his first marriage, was home alone. His father, his dad's fiance, Molly McAfee, 37, and their eight-year-old son, Gavin Buchanan, were all at their cabin in El Dorado County. Nolan stayed behind, he said. By September 15th, the burned area had cooled and investigators collected evidence including trash from a nearby fire pit. More remains were found that changed the direction of the case, according to Detective James Peterson of the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office. Why did the Buchanan family fire investigation turn into a homicide case? Officials found a piece of a skull with a bullet hole in it. At that point, all of us realized that this was in fact a homicide, said Detective John Conley from the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office. It was no longer an accidental fire. The remains were collected for forensic analysis. In the first set of remains, a bullet was lodged in the victim's hip. The skull with a bullet hole was that of a child. The crime lab confirmed the victims were Adam Buchanan, Molly McAfee, and their son, Gavin. Digging into the victim's histories, investigators learned that Adam and Molly had their share of rocky patches. There were times when I worried that they would kill each other, said Susie Slankard, Molly's mother. But investigators found no weapon at the crime scene, which helped rule out the theory of a murder-suicide. 
The absence of a firearm means that there was somebody else that had been in the cabin and killed three people, investigators said. But who? Detectives turned to Nolan for leads. Nolan said the family had driven up in the old Dodge truck with stones in the trailer for exterior work on the cabin. The teenager also said that a neighbor growing marijuana on his property had butted heads with his dad. Investigators chased down the potential lead, which was a dead end. But they also discovered that the Buchanan construction business was facing tough financial times and that some employees were laid off. It's not unheard of for ex-workers to retaliate, but this line of investigation didn't advance the case. Over the weekend following the murders, officials caught a break thanks to a cleanup effort by students less than a mile away from Buchanan Construction in Benicia. A purse containing Adam's ID card and a rifle were recovered. The proximity of the evidence to Buchanan Construction compelled officials to obtain a warrant to search the family business. As we looked through the financial records, we were able to confirm that the business was in debt and failing, said Detective Damon Brown of the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office. But why did Nolan Buchanan raise suspicions? Investigators knew that the family left on Friday, September 11th, to go to the cabin. They reviewed surveillance footage from the business and saw that Adam hooked the trailer filled with stones to an F-150 truck, not the Dodge pickup as Nolan had told them. Red flags rose up. If that same white F-150 pulled the trailer to the cabin, said Brown, then someone drove it back and parked it in Nolan's driveway. More were raised when Nolan met with relatives and declared that he was the head of Buchanan Construction. He kept saying, I am the sole owner, said Rachel Johnson, Molly's sister. That's when I knew he had done something. Investigators re-interviewed Nolan, who claimed that during the weekend his family was away, he had gone out on a date with his girlfriend. He paid for it using his dad's ATM card, which Nolan said his father had left for him. A warrant was obtained to search the Buchanan home, vehicles, and financial records. They turned up evidence that Adam had used his ATM card on Friday, September 11th at a Taco Bell. Surveillance video from the fast food chain showed the Buchanans in the drive through in the F-150, not the Dodges Nolan told them. A Taco Bell receipt dated September 11th just two days before the fire, was found in the F-150. Investigators were struck by the fact that the slip included a purchase of four drinks. If Nolan was telling the truth and stayed behind and only three people went up to the cabin, seeing a receipt for four drinks was very unusual, said Brown. Evidence from the fire pit at the crime scene confirmed there were four drink cups. The next transaction was Saturday, September 12th, it was for a $40 withdrawal at an ATM at a bar about 30 minutes from the Buchanan cabin. Security footage from the establishment confirmed that Adam and Molly were there and that he got the cash. Video footage from another business showed the F-150 driving toward the Buchanan cabin around 2.30 on the morning of the fire. Later footage showed the F-150 heading back toward Benicia at 3.30 a.m. On the morning of September 13th, Adam's ATM card was used at three Benicia businesses, Starbucks, McDonald's, and a gas station. Investigators confirmed that Adam had only one ATM card. Nolan was interviewed again at his high school on September 23rd. They confronted him with what they knew and placed him under arrest. In November of 2015, Nolan was charged with murdering Molly, Adam, and eight-year-old Gavin. At trial, Prosecutors presented evidence showing that the 16-year-old had planned the murders before his family left for the trip, reported the Mountain Democrat. The defendant tried to pin the crime on his father, who, he claimed, shot his brother and Molly before turning the gun on him. In a fight for the gun, Nolan said he shot his dad in self-defense. Using the bullet hole in 8-year-old Gavin's skull, the testimony was determined to be forensically impossible. Nolan was convicted of the murders on June 13, 2018. He was sentenced to 150 years, with a possibility of parole in 25 years. Nolan is listed as being incarcerated at Valley State Prison in Chowchilla in California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation Records reviewed in December of 2023. Now 24, he has a listed parole eligibility date of October 2039.